Liber A, Velarmorum, Subfigura 412. The Obea and the Wanga, the work of the wand and the work of the sword, these he shall learn and teach. Liber AL, chapter 1, verse 37. The Panticle. Take pure wax or a plate of gold, silver gilt or electrum magicum. The diameter shall be eight inches and the thickness half an inch. Let the neophyte by his understanding and ingenium devise a symbol to represent the universe. Let his zealotor approve thereof. Let the neophyte engrave the same upon the plate with his own hand and weapon. Let it when finished be consecrated as he hath skill to perform, and kept wrapped in silk of emerald green. The Dagger Let the zealotor take a piece of pure steel and beat it, grind it, sharpen it, and polish it, according to the art of the swordsmith. Let him further take a piece of oak wood and carve a hilt. The length shall be eight inches. Let him by his understanding and ingenium devise a word to represent the universe. Let his practicus approve thereof. Let the zealotor engrave the same upon his dagger with his own hand and instruments. Let him further gild the wood of his hilt. Let it when finished be consecrated as he hath skill to perform, and kept wrapped in silk of golden yellow. The Cup let the practicus take a piece of silver and fashion therefrom a cup. The height shall be eight inches, and the diameter three inches. Let him by his understanding and ingenium devise a number to represent the universe. Let his philosophers approve thereof. Let the practicus engrave the same upon his cup with his own hand and instrument. Let it when finished be consecrated as he hath skill to perform, and kept wrapped in silk of azure blue. The Baculum. Let the philosophers take a rod of copper, of length eight inches and diameter half an inch. Let him fashion about the top a triple flame of gold. Let him by his understanding and ingenium devise a deed to represent the universe. Let his dominus luminous prove thereof. Let the philosophers perform the same in such a way that the baculum may be partaker therein. Let it when finished be consecrated as he hath skill to perform, and kept wrapped in silk of fiery scarlet. The Lamp let the Dominus Liminus take pure lead, tin, and quit silver with platinum and if need be glass. Let him by his understanding and ingenium devise a magic lamp that shall burn without wick or oil, being fed by the ether. This shall he accomplish secretly and apart without asking the advice or approval of his adeptus minor. Let the Dominus Liminus keep it when consecrated in the secret chamber of art. This then is that which is written. Being furnished with complete armor and armed, he is similar to the goddess. And again, I am armed, I am armed.